From developments in batteries to the introduction of new innovations, LG Energy Solution never fails to amaze us. Just a month ago in May, they made announcements of their plans to develop their performance with a shift in their use of batteries. Let's look into what they have in store for us. First up, the new era. The South Korean battery manufacturer, LG Energy Solution, announced in May of 2022 at the Smarter E event in Munich that it plans to transition from its use of the nickel manganese cobalt NMC battery chemistry to lithium iron phosphate LFP in its future projects and also presented its latest innovations at the event. The business plans to further modularize its Rezu Flex home battery system. They also revealed their development of a new containerized grid scale energy storage solution that is delivered pre-assembled. This innovation is not only more efficient but also more convenient in terms of its delivery. Next we have the modular Rezu Flex. Staying true to its name, the modular Rezu Flex residential battery storage solution is incredibly flexible and can be installed in various different capacities. These range from 8.6 kilowatts per hour to 17.2 kilowatts per hour, with more than 30 different installation forms to maximize space efficiency. Not only that, but the manufacturer mentioned that the ResuFlex can be installed on any surface, whether it's indoors or outdoors. And now for ranges and capabilities. Depending on the configuration, the ResuFlex has a voltage range of 192 volts to 531.2 volts and can can serve varying energy usage patterns. The 8.6 kilowatt hour system is primarily designed to support self-consumption and shaves peak hour loads and backup critical loads in an emergency. It features two battery modules and a battery protection unit as well. The three battery module unit, however, with a 12.9 kilowatt hour capacity can cover energy consuming devices such as heat pumps and EVs while also providing backup to critical loads in an emergency. Lastly, the 17.2 kilowatt hour system system is very well equipped for a wide range of uses and applications ranging from the home to small CNI, as well as a full home backup depending on the functionality of the inverter, of course. Next, we have the dimensions and build. The battery module measures approximately 665.2 millimeters by 665.2 millimeters by 148.4 millimeters and weighs in at 48.9 kilograms. All configurations available come with a separate battery protection unit, which weighs in at 16 16.6 kilograms. The range of the operation temperature varies from minus 10 Celsius to 50 Celsius. This product also features an IP55 level of protection. In addition to single phase inverters, the ResuFlex is also compatible with three phase inverters made by Costal, Fronius, SMA, and Goodweight. George Jurgens, the LGES Director of Energy Storage Systems EMEA, confirmed to PV Magazine that the ResuFlex is readily available for shipment, even if it were ordered today, it would be delivered to your address in only a couple of weeks. This time frame is much faster than those offered by most other battery manufacturers. For example, the current waiting time in Germany is approximately five months on average. We have to say, this South Korean company is quite efficient. And now for NMC versus LFP. The newly presented ResuFlex series will feature the NMC battery chemistry so far. The manufacturing company has been faithful to NMC for a long period, but it now announces its plans to develop and release LFP standard cells by October 2023 and LFP long cells by the fourth quarter of 2024. The exact dates are still under review, but the transition will surely be a smooth one since the new LFP cells will be produced in the same format and sizes, allowing the systems to use the same modules and racks as before. Now, the wait for these developments may be a long one, but we can be assured that it'll be worth it. The developments in efficiency and quality seem very promising. So, let's discuss the process. These new battery cells will be made in Holland, in the U.S. state of Michigan, with double-digit gigawatt scale production lines being added to the facility, as mentioned by Jurgens. This plan aligns with the earlier announcement done by LG Energy Solution regarding their $1.7 billion investment to increase the production capacity for battery cells and packs at the Michigan plant, up five-fold from five gigawatt hours at present. Once developed, the LFP batteries will make up a part of the company's expanded portfolio which will continue to include its existing lineup of NMC batteries. Now, talk about dedication. $1.7 billion surely isn't an easy amount to come across. Now for the shift and how they plan to do it. The shift to safer nickel and cobalt free battery chemistry follows LGES's forced recall of some of its battery energy storage systems in the US and Australia due to possible fire related risks. In March of 2021, the ACCC issued a recall notice for batteries in LGES 
AES's lithium-ion Rezu residential range due to the potential risk of overheating and catching fire. Only a couple of months following the incident, LG AES itself launched a free replacement program for certain models manufactured between April 2017 and September 2018. This program, costing about $350 million, was announced after reports of overheating incidents. Since then, more recalls have been taking place and LG AES consistently manages to prioritize customer safety above all, which we appreciate greatly. Lastly, we have LG Energy Solutions and their other innovations. Among the many other innovations presented in the Munich conference was the new container-based ESS solution, delivered fully assembled at the factory, reducing installation time by 40% and cost by 30%. The company also showcased other high-performance grid-based ESS products in its portfolio, including a high-voltage rack of 1,400 volts and the transportable rack 1,300, a pre-engineered rack system optimized for indoor conditions. Next, in other news, LG Energy Solution Investment. As of June 2022, LG Energy Solution announced that it plans to invest 730 billion won, $567.76 million, in expanding its production capacity and its Ochang production site in South Korea. The company, which supplies to customers such as Tesla Incorporated, General Motors Company, and Volkswagen AG, said it wants to invest 580 billion won to add 9 gigawatt hours worth of production capacity of 2,680 cylindrical batteries at its second Ochang factory. LG Energy Solutions also said that it would invest 150 billion won in the first Ochang factory to add 4 gigawatt hours worth of production capacity of 2,170 cylindrical battery cells. The company also announced back in March that it plans to invest 1.7 trillion to build a factory in the U.S. state of Arizona by 2024 in order to meet demand and its new lines at the Ochang branches should be ready to perform by 2023. Talk about a big investment. And now, LG Energy Solution expands to Europe. LG Energy Solution broadened its next-generation battery research partnerships by teaming with the University of Munster and Forschungszentrum Ulick in Germany, following cooperation with UC CSD in the U.S. and KAIST in Korea. These institutions will take part in a joint battery research program funded by LGES's Frontier Research Laboratory, FRL. LGES and these two German research institutes also plan to focus on developing the next generation electrolyte and a green process for lithium-ion battery manufacturing. In particular, the joint research team will be looking into new ways to boost battery cell performance, including its energy density and and cycle life. Through its FRL programs, LG Energy Solutions has been leading in the industry by continuously driving battery-related studies with prestigious academia all across the world. Through multiple FRL programs worldwide, LG Energy Solution will thrive to lead the commercialization of next-generation battery techniques, said Yung Jun Shin, Chief Technology Officer of LG Energy Solution. Finally, China takes the lead? China's leading automotive lithium-ion battery maker, Contip Amperex Technology Company Limited, CATL, revealed a new battery that provides electric vehicles with a driving range of over 1,000 kilometers on a single charge. This development is nearly revolutionary, making the impossible seem all too possible. With a third generation of cell-to-pack CTP technology, the battery named Xilin or CTP 3.0 battery has a volume utilization efficiency of 72% and an energy density of up to 255 watts hours per kilogram for ternary battery systems. This entails that it has the highest integration level in the world, according to CATL. This development is so legendary that it was named after an incredible creation from Chinese mythology, as reported by Xinhua News Agency. These batteries are expected to go into mass production and arrive in March 2023. By directly integrating cells into packs without modules, CTP technology improves system energy density, simplifies manufacturing, and helps reduce costs. Besides, the CTP 3.0 battery features improvements in service life, safety, charging speeds, and low temperature performance. The product's full life cycle reliability and resistance to shock and vibration are improved by the integrated energy unit, which is composed of the cell and a multifunctional elastic interlayer, proving to be highly functional and effective as well. The battery boasts thermal stability and safety and is therefore compatible with materials of higher energy density in product upgrades. That's enough to make any car enthusiast get excited. Let's hope to see this invention in action soon. That's a wrap for this video. Do you think the shift in batteries will prove to be effective and
and efficient at the same time? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.